What's up guys, welcome to the channel. It's I am Zara back with another video on Fortnite Save the World. Today's video I'll be teaching you guys the best soldier build for the Mythic Storm King. I run soldier 100% of the time. I never run Lincoln. This is the best soldier build that I've found using different builds throughout the couple months that Mythic Storm King's been out and I right, let's get into the video. I right, you guys wanna go to your hero load out. This is uh what I use is fight or flight. This is a hundred percent the best character you can use anyone with fight or flight because it gives war cry grants 25.5 percent additional weapon damage and 25.5 percent movement speed the movement speed is okay but is you want that weapon damage for a horn you only want to use your war cry on a horn the two horns you never want to use it on anything else because the horn it had just has so much health and if you only three people get up there you're going to need that war cry to finish it off Next up is your team perk. You guys want to have blast from the past. This really is really really helpful. And me by myself, I'm at 920,000 health. But when my three teammates join, I'm usually at 1.5, 1.6 uh, mil million health. So you guys definitely want blast from the past if you can unlock that. And then I have this dinosaur build. It doesn't matter what dinosaur characters you use because they're all pretty much trash. You're just using from blast from the past. So I have this guy in here from my dinosaur. But it doesn't matter which dinosaur person you have in there as long as they give you the boss from the past. And then next up I have Gadgeteer because it decreases gadget cooldown by 20%. I need that for my adrenaline rush for my teammates so I can get it faster because if they down during crucial points, you need to get them up. Especially during mini boss and horn, you need them up for horn, definitely, and in crucial moments. So it would be so helpful to get adrenaline rush faster. That's why I use Gadgeteer. Faster explosions. This is increased launcher damage by 17%. That makes me hit crystals insanely um, better. I mean, it made me hit crits. Like I can one tap, two tap crystals easily. I'll, I'll do it almost all the time. Also, it's really good for the mini boss because you'll hit that 17% damage boost. Because since you're not running Ninja, you're not running Links. You don't have the Kunai Storm to get you the damage buff, the crate damage buff. So you're gonna run uh, this constructor that gives you the damage buff. As for this guy, it's the same thing. You know, it's a dinosaur hero. It doesn't matter what they do. It's just another dinosaur hero for a blast from the past. And then my last one is increased hardware damage by 17%. This is really helpful for Horn. I have it purple, but it does the exact same thing as a legendary, just less health. So if you have a legendary, I recommend using the legendary one. But yeah, increased hardware damage by 17%. I use this because the Storm King's Fury is considered a hardware. As you can see, if we go look at this. See, as you can see right there, it's considered a hardware. So I recommend using that character if you have the Storm King's Fury because it's the best weapon for the horn. And it's just really good. I hit a lot of crits. I hit for 1.68k each crit. And I think it's like 380, 400 something for a regular shot. So just like amazingly good with that hero. And then next up for your gadgets, you always want to have adrenaline on. This is the most important thing to have, so you can, especially if you need to get it upgraded though, because mine does it. In sewer stores, two hundred thirty thousand health to your friendly players at a three tire range. Adrenaline rush also purges negative effects when you use. Now heals an extra seventeen thousand healed every over five seconds. And also, if you have it upgraded enough, it heals your teammates when they're down. So that is really good, really important to use, guys. It's insanely good. And for your next gadget, I use stationary hover turrets to get the floor husk and after second horn he it shoots the mini the the boss but it's really good for killing the ground husk anything everything else isn't really that good i used to use slow field for the mini boss but it's really not that helpful so i definitely recommend using stationary cover turn and that's all i pretty much have for the for the best soldier uh build for mythic storm king uh my name is zaro make sure you guys like comment subscribe and enter my survivor xp giveaway we are 40 subscribers away from the giveaway being over with so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and enter that giveaway. I'll see you guys later. Peace.